CNN from the French aircraft carrier Foch, somewhere in the Mediterranean. Six days ago, as the rebellion in Chechnya spread to the neighboring Caucasus republics, the Russian president ordered massive bombing strikes against rebel positions around Khartoum and Belokani. Appalled at the loss of human life, the President of the United States, joined by the French President and the British Prime Minister, suspended all foreign aid to Russia. Ultra-nationalist leader Vladimir Rodchenko denounced the U.S. pressure as an act of war against the Russian Republic and Russian sovereignty. Denouncing his own president as a U.S. puppet, he called on the Russian people to join him in revolt. He said this brutish and hypocritical American intervention will not go unanswered. On Tuesday at 10 o'clock in the morning, Moscow time, the Russian parliament was suspended and martial law was declared. With the government in crisis, the Russian Republic was entering into what can only be described as a state of civil war. Then yesterday at dawn, Rachenko and rebel forces seized the region around Vladivostok, including a naval base and a nuclear missile base housing Russian ICBMs. As regular Russian military forces move into encircle Rachenko, Allied military forces are in a state of high alert. These French planes taking off behind me have been deployed near the Caucasus since the beginning of the crisis. And a crisis which started in the Caucasus has now spread to the Far East and appears to be turning into the worst standoff since the Cuban Missile Crisis. This is Richard Valeriani reporting live for CNN from the French aircraft carrier Foch, somewhere in the Mediterranean.